Is it a vending machine or is it a robot? No idea, but it can cook you croissants fresh on request and a quick quiche if you're lucky. Others can serve hot ramen or pizzas in minutes. Now, hopefully we won't be getting all of our food from vending machines just yet, not until we have to evacuate the planet, but this one is rather smart. It builds salads from scratch. We use different technologies to dispense different ingredient types, pumps for liquids, paddle wheel type mechanisms for solids, but all these are managed by a software algorithm that provides real-time feedback based on weight to make sure that we dispense all these ingredients very precisely. If we don't, and we try and dispense something like an avocado, we're gonna end up dispensing guacamole, or a sliced tomato, we end up dispensing the base of a salsa. Now, over the years, we've seen more than our fair share of bionic arms mixing drinks and weird whatever that is. They were gimmicks, let's face it. But maybe, just maybe, this is their time. This robot in Belarus can serve more than 300 cups in every 12-hour shift and is already offering an alternative to shuttered coffee shops. This kind of way of serving the coffee is kind of different from, from the personal touch of, of, of a human, but especially in, in the time of coronavirus, that's the way I would want to see mostly all the fast food, you know, all the, all the cafes and restaurants. Absolutely. Uh, this uh, coronavirus pandemic accelerated the process of adaptation of uh, robotics technologies. Other robot arms have been trained to use tools. And for each new ingredient, it takes Alfred here tens of thousands of tries to get to grips with it. Alfred right now knows how to use ladles, spoons, uh, salad tongs, and dishers. It uses uh, a camera to then to recognize the material. And then it's able to uh, react to the torques that it feels. And that is uh, able to tell it whether it needs to, to push harder or softer. Uh, and it also can, can look with, with its camera uh, to determine how much material is actually inside uh, the utensil at any given point. Alfred isn't as fast as a human server just yet, but it can still plate up to 50 orders per hour. It only operates at its highest speed of two meters per second when it senses that no one's around. It slows to a standstill if it detects a human is dangerously close. Right now, this robot is dispensing pick and mix, but its newer, bigger brother will have many, many arms, many dispensers, and it will soon be feeding Ocado's staff in one of their canteens. We can take a whole range of orders and our robot will automatically create the optimized routing. We call it a flight path. This is not a technology that is going to overtake you know, next spring, you're not going to see every restaurant in London with robots in there. But we think over the three years, five years, eight year horizon, this robotic technology in kitchens will be as commonplace as a microwave or a food mixer now. 